Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We're in Bergen, Norway. This is the last stop on our Norwegian leg of the cruise. And it looks like a nice city. It's, it looks really cute. It looks really, really pretty because all the houses, as you can see back here, are all tucked in and around all of the mountains all around us. We're gonna go take a look at Bergen. We're gonna walk around. We'll uh, see how we'll... long because yeah. it's supposed to rain. Yeah, it's supposed to rain in a couple hours, so we wanna yeah. kind of get this done so we don't <laughs> get the cameras all wet. But yep. let's go. walking next to the fortress. I don't see an entrance. It must be around on the other side. Of course it is. So you'll just have to see my view this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go out that door. That's the wrong door to take. There's the fort. Part of the fort. The Bergenhus. Looks like it's still under construction. You have to pay to go in, so this is the free tour of the uh, fortress. This is cool. This little courtyard part of the fortress, but it's very awesome. What a view they had of all the ships going in and out. Look at the stone. Oh, wow. This is another cool courtyard. The cobbles are all different, made in a pattern, which is really neat, but they're very uneven. Look at this doorway. Very cool. It looks like in the reconstruction, they've left some of the cornerstone. 1714 looks yeah. like, yeah. Wow. What's with these doors that will take you to your death? Wow. The Norwegians are tough. Gotta watch that first step. How much was it to get in? Uh, 12, no, 120 crown. So it's $12. Yes. So the whole fortress is pretty big. Oh it yeah, like. it looks like a massive. So if you want to go into the fortress and take a look at the fortress, we just don't have that much time. We did find out that they're having a music festival. That's what that is. That's what the big stage is for also. So, and it's going until, well, it'll be closed by the time you get here, but it's Bergenfest, but yep. it's bad Baggen. Baggen, Baggen is the correct pronunciation. And that's a better view of the outside of the fort. We were just kind of walking around. It's a really pretty view from over here. A little windy, but really pretty. Every port town seems to have an anchor somewhere. There's that anchor. They do have bike and scooter rentals here. We've seen both, there's the bikes. When you look at a postcard of Bagan, this is usually what you see. This is usually the, the picturesque picture that you get. There's a windy street over there, or a windy walkway, or a windy, yeah, something windy. Glad it's not raining on us yet. <laughs> I have to say, those buildings look like they tilt a little. Yeah, that one looks like Holy it's cow. Like, look at the doorway. It's like it's <laughs> being held up by the other buildings. Yep. All the little shops are so cute along here. Some of them are restaurants and some of them are places to buy stuff that you don't need, but they're really cute. 
All right, that building has 1480, 1712, and 1912. So I'm guessing 1480 was when it was first established. 1712 was when it was redone, and 1912 was when it redone again. I don't know. This is a really pretty area. There's where you jump on the funicular. It looks like a big line right now, so I think we'll pass for now, maybe later. This little town is so cute so far. We've got, definitely have an old town area where they've kept a lot of the facades and things like that. And then there's like another whole more new area but this is the old area which is really cool cobbled streets and the pretty little buildings just everywhere an old church it says uh, 1808 on the stone tablet there Says Acacia, A.K.A. S.I.A. Wow, feel that wind. Woo. The storm's blowing in right now. We're starting to get rained on pretty good. The rain is here. Wow. It's an old-style street. Tiny cobblestones. Something that's different overseas that I don't know if we brought up before, but they don't really have street signs. I mean, when you're in the town center, they might have like one sign that has different arrows going in different directions with the name of what you're looking for on it. But I'm talking about like just for the street. <clears throat> the street signs are different. They're actually on the buildings here. So, and they're not on every building. So it can be a challenge to figure out if you're driving what street you're trying to turn on. We found a little tiny alleyway. And it's not raining as much in here because there's not that much space. Sarah got squirreled to go down. Oh, there's some street art. It looks like a cute little street, kind of a pirate style place. It smells like pee pee. Mm, yeah, well. Man doing his meth. This is the drug area. Yeah, this is not the area for us, dude. I think we just saw their drug scene. <laughs> There's a lot of cool areas. Sarah felt she had to bust somebody. She got that we urge. Did not. That that to come out of retirement. How long did you Oh. You know who that's for. That's a statue of Holberg. I don't know who this, I don't know who Holberg is, but, and I don't know the seagull on top of him either, so. They got a 7-Eleven. What? 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 Which way? You need a Bob Marley shirt or a BMW shirt or a lion shirt? No. Or some kind of dog no. shirt? No. Okay. Nine. Right. Well, then we'll go across the street. Okay, we'll go that way. It's like they got a market going on over there. Let me go take a look at it. 
Kevin wants a Viking burger. Those look good. Viking burger. Skull. See? Told ya. Ooh, got a paella. It's like... Cool. That's not Norwegian. Ah, fresh Yum. salmon. That's Norwegian. Num nums. See, this is a proper fish market. You cannot smell fish. I'm standing right here. You can't smell fish. That's when you know it's good fish. Oh, yeah. no, right Yummy. Here. Yeah, moose burgers. Moose burgers? I thought you wanted a Viking burger. Covered places to eat here too. See all the, it looks like little tapas and things over here, huh? That's the visitor center right there. This side of the bay seems to be more businesses and more, I guess, new. Seems like the historic side is on the, the other side where we were just at not too long ago. Looks like some older buildings. We found the windy street. We're taking you to the windy street that we saw earlier. Look, the Norwegian version of Lombard Street. There's a, a large men's store right there. I might have to go in there. Not only is this place so picturesque, but look at how they do the walking areas. It's for men uh, 2XL to 9XL. I'm 2XL in the States. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty big. I should stop eating for a year, but if I can find some 3XLs, they just give me a little more room for my keg. That's it. And they had them. But I also got a Norwegian shirt, and it's a 5XL. I'm like, whoa. They size them down really low. Well, in all of Europe, really. Yeah. yeah. But so, so I got a few shirts. Score. Skull. Ferry's coming in. If you need to take the ferry somewhere. full rain has started <laughs> we're heading back to the ship so that's a brief look of it <laughs> it's coming down i don't know if you can see it on the video but it's it's coming down coming down pretty good all right here's the storefront of that famous postcard area these buildings are just <laughs> angled every which way it's funny they go back quite a ways too to other portions or other sections, I should say. All right, everything is off angled here, so it's kind of weird. It's like walking in the haunted, that haunted shack at Knott's Berry Farm. It's like you feel like you're supposed to yeah, you should be leaning one way and you're leaning the other way. <laughs> That's so cool though. Okay, this, this must be the old town because this is behind that famous postcard storefront. And these are some old, old buildings. Yeah, nothing straight. Everything's gone an angle here. Wow, oh, so cool back here. So wet back here, but so cool back here. Mm -hmm. Fishing store. You need a pole. Look at the angle on this. <laughs> That's awesome. If you buy these rugs, you get the face as well. 
Looks like a storage area. They'd lift the stuff up from this. Because you can see now the buildings, they're together. They stay very close to each other. And if it's fire happening, the wood is very dry. And it was very difficult to stop the fire. There's another one of those <laughs> doors to nowhere. You gotta watch that first step, I'm telling you. So this is Norway in June. It's quite raining and storming on us, but we're not gonna let it slow us down. There's this cool looking church over here that we wanna check out on our way back to the ship. So we're gonna go walk over here and check it out. There's a museum right over here. That's the museum. But check out this church. I love those old doors. Those are really cool. Let's see if I can cross the street without getting hit. Ha. I don't care if they poop on my head because I have a rain slicker on. <laughs> oh, these people have been here for a while. Well, that is rainy Bergen. Very well, rainy. Well, Bergen's beautiful. It is. And I wouldn't mind spending more time here. Um, it's just, you know, it makes it hard when everything's just wet and... Blowing sideways and... Yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful city to come to. I imagine we might be back, especially yeah. if we jump on another cruise, because this is, this is a main port. Many, many yeah. cruise ships come here, but... That is our day, and we're gonna go enjoy a nice warm bowl of soup. Yay! And we will see you on cruise number four <laughs> next week. Yay! Until then, bye! bye. <laughs> over there, over there. <laughs> I'm ser I'm serenading you. <laughs> Cute little center fishing village. Look ish thing. Some coming down pretty good. Pretty good. What you trying on first? We have one hanger in here, so we found the Ting store. Do you need something? <laughs> but I'm bum. I'm here all day.